so do you think areas like the northeast where we are now are going to be much more seriously impacted than places like London and the southeast, for example? If you look at the comparisons in terms of um, the sectors that are really prominent uh, across different parts of the region, um, particularly I think because the Northeast is a big manufacturing hub and because the impact of having no deal is arguably much more acute for uh, companies who are trading in goods than let's say for services, particularly in financial services, where the profit margins are much, much wider, much higher, um, you know, you do see the potential for a bigger impact in those kind of regions. And I think the other thing to think about, uh, I don't think it will sort of absolutely um, erase the ability to have funding, but there are quite a lot of companies who have clients that benefit from EU funding projects, um, and I think that's why we want to see a bit more action from the government trying to set out what the future of, of regional funding will be uh, once we've left the EU. Um, so do you think that, that kind of money is going to be made available by um, the British government? That is the $100 million question, is how differently in those areas are we going to do it? Um, now, it's worth saying that when you talk to some companies who've had experience of, of um, structural funding, that the process can sometimes be um, quite complicated and put them off doing it. Having said that, it's been a big benefit um, to a lot of, particularly the sort of the poor regions in terms of allowing some of that infrastructure to go ahead. I think there's an opportunity on the one hand to um, make some of that funding more efficient, more targeted, um, and sort of focused more on projects that you know provide a good value for return on, on taxpayers' money. Um, but I think that there is probably going to be a change in the way in which or the distribution of those funds. Uh, you know, so potentially you're looking at the scenario of what happened in uh, New Zealand in the 1980s, where subsidies were cut pretty rapidly to farming, for example. Um, now you talk to farming communities and they say now it was the best thing they ever did, but it was quite disruptive at the time. So I think in terms of the impact, it will depend on how quickly the, the UK makes those changes or whether they sort of gradually phase them in.